Hello and welcome to the morning travel report with your host, Big Jim from High Desert Research. I'm not really that big. In fact, people always told me my whole life, Hey, Jimmy, why don't you put some meat on them bones? Kind of skinny there. And I'd be like, What do you mean I'm skinny? I'm not skinny, I'm lean. Why does everybody got a body shame me, man? If I can talk about my shit like that. Uh, that's the way it goes. We grow, we grow out of it, learn, and grow out of our complexes and bullshit self doubt. What in the hell does that have to do with traffic? I don't know. Let's get the hell out of here. Shall we? Open you son of a! There it goes, there it goes. We're out of here. We're out of here, baby. Take off. Oh, you have to put it in drive. <laughs> I'm not driving the beater today. I'm driving my extremely overpriced Subaru. The Boo Usually, I'm driving Saturn with the with the all clawed out interior. On my other morning reports, my road, I call it my road rager because, you know, if I get in a road rage incident in that thing and start sideswiping people, crashing into Chevy pickups, uh, not a big deal. This thing, I'd probably cry if somebody crashed into my Subi. Not because I like the car or anything, because I paid all that goddamn money. Money! Money, 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 money. So, uh, morning travel report, we're headed east on, I'm not going to say because this is our road, the dirt road, bumpy dirt road, we're doing a blistering 15 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going into some washboarding. Over here to the right, we have a new farm, it was just put in about two years ago, has it been two years? Brand new, I mean, these motherfuckers got money. They got that. I think, yeah, that's a modular. They got themselves a big old deluxe modular and a fucking shop that I would just uh, celebrate over. What a, I love that shop and a bunch of fucking stalls painted. Everything's painted. Nice, a nice bluish greenish, not bluish greenish, but bluish grayish. Same color as the main house on the ranch. And here's an older house over here. These guys. They're running a junkyard, which is cool. I mean, that's what people do out here at Craggity Cratch, uh, Nevada. Every yard you go by, every, everybody has, out here it's more farm. People have 10, 20 acres, but as you go into the rest of Stagecoach, it's more, it's more of a neighborhood. But everyone has five-acre lots. Um, I'll, some of them are smaller. The smallest ones are probably an acre. Maybe smaller than an acre. They're all huge lots and they're all got like 50 junked out automobiles. Now, a lot of people go, oh, that's fucking bad. Property value. That's why I like it out here because nobody gives a fuck. Everybody does whatever the fuck they want out here. That's why I love living out here. I'm not crazy about the goddamn tweakers, uh, but it's a desert. What are you going to do in a desert, you know? <clears throat> do drugs and fornicate. Um, uh, rinse and repeat. For them young and Zimye, who some of the smart ones, you know, they, they rise up and move on. Like every town, every town in America, it's the same thing. Listen to me. I'm preaching over here. No, the most... that That's why I like Stagecoach because people have 10, 15 old fucking burned out, rusted out vehicles in their front yard and I know that is going to keep certain people out of here. The, the little snippy little cunts like that. There's a little subdivision down here. I call it Mini San Jose, California. And it's like it's funny because they're in Stagecoach fucking Nevada but they have this fenced off little teensy weensy 
it's not a gated community. We can drive in it right now, but it's it's weird. It's all fenced up and it's all really super duper duper nice. Oh my god. Oh, and the, the, all those people have regular lots. Like, you know, your regular fucking neighborhoods. I don't I've never understood the concept of paying a half a million dollars for a house just so you can go take a piss in your bathroom and look straight into your neighbor's bathroom, which is, which their structure is built uh, 15 centimeters from your structure. Makes no sense. But I, you know, to each his own. Some people like it that way. They're, they're kind of, you know. Uh, but people like us, we like freedom! So we're coming towards the 50 here. Let's see what happens. What is it? 544. I thought I was Mr. Oh, I'm getting up early this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go from uh, Stagecoach, Nevada to Reno, Nevada, which is a 50 mile commute. Going to work. Uh, this guy is never going to sell that Suburban. I want to go see. I just don't want another V8. I don't need another big vehicle. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. I was going <laughs> to... You think the world kicks your ass? Wait till you hear this story. So I got a, my, a friend of mine, and he's all excited. I, I posted a video of his uh, 85 Honda Shadow. But this thing's all blacked out, chopped out, cropped out, capped out. It's actually cool. I I, uh, <clears throat> I owned a Harley before. It's choppers. It's Harleys for me usually, but I own a crotch rocket and a Honda. I will not own a Harley crotch rocket. And I, yeah, it'd be it, I, after I rode the Shadow because uh, because my friend he uh, is a first time rider. He's been talking about getting a motorcycle for the first time. And, which I always think is exciting. It's exciting and scary because first time rider, one of two things is gonna to happen to them the first couple months they're riding. They're either gonna be successful, they're gonna be they're gonna have a level head and responsible, or they're gonna fucking crash. I mean I, I know I kinda you can't tell usually. You usually can't tell. Is this guy gonna be an asshole rider? Is he gonna be a good rider? You really Sometimes, sometimes you can tell. But so far from everything he's telling me, he's he's very careful about stuff. He's just riding down the street and back because he hasn't got his permit yet. Uh, so <clears throat> I took my truck two weekends ago down to uh, Gardnerville, Nevada, which is south of Carson City. Um. Fuck is this guy goddamn coming from nowhere? Coming from nowhere in the desert. That means he pulled over to do a pump before work. Now he's gonna go to work. Go. All right, man. Let's start building some houses. Now it's a nice truck too. Big old black silver ratty. We are on 50, headed towards Carson City. It's warm as fuck in here. Let me turn the heater down. Let me turn it out of my face. Get this heat out of my face. Turn it down. Turn it back up again. All right. <clears throat> so I went down to Garterville a couple weekends ago with my truck, picked up this 85 Honda Shadow with 32 on the ODometer, uh, 32 grand. Took it. Trucked it, uh, what is it, 30 miles, 40, uh, it's probably about 40 miles from there. This dude talking, all right, test rode it, loved it. I've never ridden a, I don't think I've ever ridden a cruiser, a, hunt, a Japanese cruiser, to be honest. If I did, I don't remember. I've ridden like old CBs, Honda CBs, they're not really cruisers. I got two drivers on Highway 50, I'm doing 67. 
So this is what I hate about these motherfuckers out here. I'm in the wide open desert out here. And people group up on the highways. I don't get it. Like the, the, the dipshit behind me in a Chevy that pulled out of fucking nowhere uh, off, the, off the highway here. So he pulled off to do something. And then he pulled back on. Because that is... When you drive every morning on the same highway, you shit sticks out like this guy. And it, there's nothing on that road there. So pulled over to do something. Now he's, now he's pacing me, basically, I guess. I am doing two over the speed limit, which is probably perfect for him, so that's all good, I guess. But what that causes, you'll get like this third guy who took his time passing me. You'll get somebody who'll get beside me. Now there's fucking three of us. Then you'll get a guy behind the dipshit in the left lane. Now there's four fucking vehicles grouped together on a wide open desert highway. I don't, I don't fucking get it. Other than just they're fucking morons. It's usually the one idiot in the left lane that's locked everybody in. Look, there's another guy out here. What the fuck? Are these guys feds? Are these fucking posted every fucking mile? What are you doing, sir? In the middle of the fucking desert at 5.49 a.m. See, the shit sticks out. When you do this every every morning for uh, four years, five years. So this Silverado is definitely pacing me. I got the same thing. I got eyesight. I can, I can set eyesight on this thing. This car almost drives itself. Uh, it'll it'll lock onto a vehicle in front of you, then it'll just pace them. And it's fucking killer. I love it. It's better in cruise control. Way better. It's, it'll, it'll give you lane departure warnings. And the dealership sold it to my dumbass. Can you believe that? Driving out of the park, parking lot. The dealership lot going, do you have any idea you just sold this car to? Ah, oh, look at the Sierra Mountains, man, right in your face. Lake Tahoe, over overlooking Carson City. This morning, it really, it's really clear and prominent. And it's not, it's kind of, this is kind of unusual. Usually there's cloud cover over those mountains in Tahoe. Every morning, it's just, that's just the reality for that climate. What am I, a climate expert now? What am I, a meteorologist now? Move over for dude. Here's another one of those <laughs> fucking jack off subdivisions that they put up out here in the fucking desert. Fucking million dollar homes out there. Slammed together. <laughs> Slammed. It's not how we do it out here, people. <laughs> and they're building those all over. Those are popping up everywhere. And then you get all these fucking moron drivers. <clears throat> going to whatever fucking job they got when they moved to Nevada, I guess. I don't fucking know. I came to get away from these fucking people. These little mini crossover liberal Joe Biden voter voter fucking cut your children's dick off people. Liberals. <clears throat> if you're a liberal, uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> So we're on 50, we, pretty uneventful transition from Stagecoach to Mark Twain, Nevada. Slow down, I'm gonna pop it to 63. I'm gonna pop eyesight, this lock eyesight at 63 miles an hour, just to keep the uh, local Lyon County Sheriff's Department and the state Highway patrol happier than a three peckered billy goat. Quite an eventful transition, except for these morons that try. See, see these guys back here? They're about look at this, this fuck face right here. These assholes. They come screaming out of the fucking desert from somewhere, and you're going to meet. I'm on the highway, and they're fucking flying, and you're wondering, is this motherfucker gonna stop, or is he gonna crash into me? Should I stop on the fucking highway? I hate those motherfuckers. If you drive like that, uh, well, I can't say this on, on boob tube, but I think you can guess what I want to say. <laughs> Take a gun and no. And that face in the mirror, take care of that. All right, we're moving out of Mark Twain towards Dayton, past uh, Occidental over here. 
they got a sheriff, they got a Lyon County Sheriff substation over here, Occidental, kind of hidden back there by the Mexican restaurant. So I would get over the left lane to let this guy in, but this piece of shit just caught up to me and is now living off my seven o'clock. That's another thing that I can't fucking stand people doing. They'll, they'll, oh my God, I gotta catch up to you. I gotta catch up to you. They'll catch up to you, then they'll live off your seven o'clock. Basically sit in your blind spot. So if you need to get over, if an emergency happens, that piece of shit is right there. So you know what I do? Watch this. Fucking hit the brakes. Fucking moron. You are a moron. Your little fucking, uh, what is that? 2003 fucking Honda jack me off. You're a fucking idiot. I, I, I just hit the fucking brakes. And then they'll come forward. And a dipshit had to get one. Then he moves over to get over, out of this guy's way. Who's trying to merge on from the left. From the center lane. At least he had enough sense to do that. I probably freaked him out when I hit the brakes. That's a clear message that you're a fucking idiot. Look, now he's doing the same thing with this truck up here. Oh no. No, he's going to pass him taking his time. You're going to pass, if you're going to catch up to somebody and pass them, pass them! Don't live in someone's 7 o'clock position in their blind spot. That's so fucking stupid. Oh my god. What What brain, what human being does that? Right, I'm going to pass this Chevy. I got two of these fucking pricks. They're in a big fucking hurry, so let me pull up in front of this fucking Chevy. Let this piece of shit, the SUV that has to go 80 fucking miles an hour into Dayton. I gotta do, there's the cops right there. I gotta do 80 miles an hour so I can go wait at this this red light up here. And he's still crossed over. I'm in a Forester. I'm in a crossover too, so. Uh, is that a guy or I can't tell. He's fucking completely blacked out. <clears throat> I don't black out my front windows. I black out all the rears. I kind of want to, but I don't drive at night. See, I got three of these motherfuckers just in a group about 100 yards off by six. Here comes this other prick in his truck on the right lane. He's, he's moving up. I don't know where the fuck he's going to go except around me. Hey, cement truck. All right, coming into Dayton. We are coming up to Fortune Drive. Uh, approaching the brand new fucking McDonald's that they have like one person working in all the time now. They fuck up all your orders in the drive-thru. Come on down to Dayton McDonald's and get your order fucked up. Oh shit, I better slow down. Coming to Dayton. We got 45 miles an hour. So we're going from 80 miles an hour, 60, but everybody does 80, to 45 fucking miles an hour in Dayton. This is where problems happen. This is where you'll get everybody slowing down to 50, 55. This piece of shit in this truck is going to get right on my ass in the right lane. You must be going to the store. Because you pull off to the right at the Smith's Shopping Center here. Let me get up to 53 here for fuck face in the truck. Simple common courtesy. Don't ride people's asses. It's just tailgating. They need to start emphasizing that in driver's ed. Don't tailgate! If I'm you know what? I almost want to become a driver's ed teacher just to yell at high school students in driver's ed class. Don't tailgate! Don't tailgate! Tailgating is dangerous! I swear to God. I swear to fucking... All right? I would do that every class, the beginning of every class. Oh, good afternoon, class. Thanks for coming. Oh, by the way, tailgating is dangerous! And I would welcome every student, every high school student in that class to do the same thing, to yell it. Tailgating is dangerous. It's not only dangerous, it's fucking rude. You tailgate people, you are a fucking piece of shit. Now, if you're a, if you're one of those idiots that sits in the left lane at the at the at the speed limit. You need to be tailgate. That is where I say yes. Tailgate, tailgate the fuck out of that piece of shit. Because he should be over in the right lane. But if I'm in the right lane on a two-lane highway, 
minding my own goddamn business. And you're tailgating me. You can't because you can't go around. I'm trying to get away from brake checking. I, 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 I really do not condone any type of road rage whatsoever. Don't engage, man. Just ignore them. You know, I have a bad habit once in a while. Some piece of shit will be tailgating me, and I, and I, I, I just want to brake check the motherfucker. <clears throat> I don't condone it. Uh, flip the mirror up. Out of sight, out of mind. If you can't see them, it's not going to bother you as bad. But if you're going to keep watching somebody living inside your rearview mirror, their headlights, it's always the asshole in the lifted truck. Um, don't engage. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Uh, it's not worth getting in trouble in a road rage incident. You could go to jail. You could wind up getting shot at. <laughs> That's not fun. Four twenty-seven for regular gas. That's not bad. Maybe I'll get gas here. I refuse to go anywhere but but Maverick. Since moving to Nevada, the Mavericks their their machine their pumps always work. Everything works. They're they're staffed very well. Good people. Um, all, that's all I ask is your gas pump works or I'm not going to sit there and have to jack off the camel with the gas pump for five minutes before getting gas that's all I ask for from a gas station if I I'll, I'll go to a gas station if I move to a new town I'll go up to every gas station if I can't pay at the pump I'm out of there if there's any issues at the pump whatsoever go inside please see cashier now, you lose. I put my fucking credit card back in my pocket and I drive right to the next gas station. If there's any shit that stops me from putting gas in my motherfucking vehicle, I will never come to that gas station again, ever. I was on my bike. I stopped and I gave these guys a chance at Mountain House one morning. I was on my fucking bike, fully geared, full helmet on, and they're, they're fucking, it's pants pump, says pants pump. Please see cashier. I actually went inside because I thought I usually take off, but I was on my bike. I just wanted my gas to get the fuck out of there. I didn't want to fuck around again. It, there's a process when you're on a motorcycle when you're doing gas. Um, and I went inside. I asked the girl, I go, what's up with the pump? I thought says, I thought you could pay at the pump. She goes, oh, it's usually not an issue. It is now. I paid, I paid, got my gas, never came back. You get one chance. If you... You pay all those millions of dollars to put a gas station in. This is 2024. This is in 1983. If you can't, if you're a cup gas company and you can't get your shit together and get your fucking gas pumps working right, you know, there's one gas station out of the desert that's four miles from my house. It's the closest gas. I know that guy. I know the owner. He, he's, I get propane for him. We're bros. His station's a piece of shit. You, you can't pay at the pump. You have to go in. I don't go there much. I do once in a while. You know, I'll go inside, pay me again, but that's because he lives right next to me. My gas station in Carson City is 25 miles from my house. I'll say that again. 25 miles from my house. Nothing nothing in the desert where I live is closer than four miles. You need a spaceship to live in the desert. Walking is out of the question. Bicycling is out of the question. Uh, you need a spaceship. A car is not even going to help you living that far. I drive 500 miles a week to Reno and back, to work and back. Let me get past this goddamn truck. I've never seen so many trucks coming up this hill. Week, weekday morning. Something's up. Somebody's moving some shit. There's another flatbed rig right here. What's he got underneath that blanket? See, this is out. This is way out of character. See, I see shit like this. I'm like, what's going on? That's a big old block of concrete chained to a flatbed tractor trailer unit. Oh no, that's five big ass blocks of concrete, baby. Oh, it's a Tesla. That's a Tesla uh, tractor trailer rig, semi. Tesla semi. I wonder how much one of them things cost. I was thinking about that the other day. God damn, look at that sun office. Office there, Billy. 
Look at that bright ass motherfucking LEDs on that truck. Just enough to blind an oncoming driver, you know? I don't know. That's, that's another thing that's happening in this world, in this country. You know, we got all these jack off regulations in, in the United States. Why can't they regulate those fucking LED headlights? I'll tell you what, when you, another desert thing, everybody's coming at each other head on in the desert because everything's flat and everything's straight when it comes to the roads. So you get these fucking people with these blinding fucking LED headlights that they're, they're, they're just stay in your face forever. You're not on country roads in California where it's like this. You're, it's all head on. So with all these uh, suck my dick government regulations applied to the auto industry, why the fuck does that include uh, blinding LED headlights? That's what they should call them. Pure and simple. <clears throat> so we made it all the way to Mount House without incident. This is uh, crazy. It is Monday morning. Uh, there's the Bunny Ranch. We all know about that place. It's really nice to be able to drive past all these whorehouses every morning going to work because it, it, it inspires you to work. You know, what I, you know what I mean? To start your work day. You see the Bunny Ranch and the Kit Kat Ranch. And all that tail end that could be had in there. And all that hot piece of tail. That's up in, look at that, Moonlight Bunny Ranch, baby. Mm. Can I get me, if I was single, I'd be like, hmm, looking at the menu. You know, I've never had a redhead before. I haven't. I've never been with a redhead. Almost. Really close. I had a roommate that was a redhead. Um, she was kind of hot, but she was, you know, it's kind of, at the time, I was, uh, I was uh, operating a pussy rich environment at the time, so I wasn't like, if I was desperate, I would have definitely, I would have hopped on her like a kangaroo, but I, I was too busy with other stuff at that time. I should, I, I kind of regret not sleeping with her because then I could have put Redhead on my, on my, uh, on the side of my, my fighter plane, a little Redhead sticker emblem. <laughs> Pretty funny. Coming down the hill in the Carson City. Boy, I tell you what, that's, I wish every morning could be like this with traffic. And it's, it's probably because I'm filming is why everybody's being cool. Usually I get on this message app called Marco Polo. I don't know what it is called the powers of the universe, powers of the cosmos, energies of the whatever. But every time I'm driving, because I drive 500 miles a week, I do a lot of video messaging to friends. Every time I'm on the video message app and I'm, I'm in depth into a into a talk with my friend, all the assholes come start swarming around me. And I think, hold on, I gotta stop talking about it time and fucking deal with traffic. Every fucking time, there's a state uh, highway patrol right there coming up the hill into. Mound House. I wonder where he's headed. He's probably going to Fallon. He's either going to Fallon or he's going to go to Silver Springs and hang out by the uh, casino, post up for an hour or two, and then maybe go to Fallon after that or come back to Carson. I don't know how, what their range is out here. There's, They're huge. Some of them are huge. Some, some of these state troopers out here in the Nevada desert, they have a range of like 40 miles, I kid you not, on the highway. It's insane what they're, the, the spread of the area they're, they're uh, they are um, to cover, responsible for. It. You gonna pass me or not? Or are you just gonna stay here in your little Nissan Xterra? I hope you're a female. What, what man would buy of SUV called an Xterra. So what's it? What do you drive, man? Forerunner? Suburban? No, no, I drive a, a 
Xterra. Oh, <laughs> I drive a Nissan Xterra. It's my Xterra. Yeah, I just I took my Xterra off road the other day. I drove on the shoulder for like three three feet, and then I got back. I got scared. Got back on the highway on, in my Xterra. Yeah, my name's Derek. Hi. So I can take a ride by Xterra. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Enough. Let me see if this is a guy. Who's he? The Xterra driver. It's a chick. Thank God. Thank you, Lord, for uh, reviving my <laughs> my faith in humanity. College Parkway and Highway 50 in Carson City, baby. We're in the thick of it. We are getting cozy with the people of northern Nevada. What do we have, 31 minutes? Yeah, it took 31 minutes to get out of my fucking driveway to Carson City. Now we got another 31 minutes to get from Carson City to, uh, well, 20 minutes to get from Carson City to Southway Parkway in Reno, and then from Southway Parkway, it's another 15 to Air Center Circle, which is close to the runway of the Reno Airport. There's food Max. Shop there once in a while. We used to shop at that Smith's. <clears throat> Make your turn, buddy. That thing ain't gonna tip. Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, I gotta make my turn. Hang on, everybody. Hold on. Making my turn. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta, we gotta stop traffic, Carl. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let me make my turn. Yeah, all right, all right. Just move over in the bike lane and make your fucking turn and get the fuck out of my way. That's all I ask. He's driving a Patriot. That's another little, I can't say this here, it starts with an F, a little Agmobile is a Patriot. Look at that cute little fucking Jeep wannabe. What is, what, who makes Patriot? Jeep? That's right, Jeep makes those. That is, oh my God, what an ugly fucking Jeep. He just paid 40 grand for that brand new Patriot. And they name it a fucking Patriot. Of all words they can use. Anybody that buys and drives one of those pieces of shit, you are definitely not a Patriot. You got little kitty cat balls. Okay, this is how you get on the freeway, by the way. 80 miles an hour. You get on the freeway, on a freeway on ramp. Any, I'm kidding, I'm doing 65 now. Damn, this guy in front of me knows how to do it too. You get on the you get on the freeway on ramp any slower than 65 miles an hour, you should be uh, taken out back, tied down, and forced to listen to Kenny G CDs for for 24 hours. There's a Harley Davidson dealership. Woo! We got Harley's on sale. Uh, Forty thousand dollars for a Harley Davidson. Hey man! <laughs> no, I got nothing against bikers. I, I, I actually, I've never, I never had much luck with bikers. I've, I've owned Harleys. I've hung out with bikers. I, I generally don't like bikers that I don't know, because they're usually pricks. I. I Nowadays, that's different. Back in the '90s, most of the bikers I met with were, were assholes. They're they're racists. They would see my brown skinny ass coming and they'd be like, "We get that look, you know, the old grumpy biker look." I walk into the, the old the old custom biker shops back in the '90s, you know. And if you're not in their clique, boy. You ain't shit. They'll, they'll, they'll go out of their way to treat you like shit. And I wasn't scared. I mean, I was a brawler back then. I was like, fuck, I'll fight you too. I don't give a fuck. Um, get around this fucking truck here. 
uh, it's a completely different world today. Bikers, I don't even think bikers exist anymore. Not like they used to. Um, my sister married into kind of a, a biker family of sorts. They weren't patched, but they were bike Harley Davidson people. So I got, you know, I got a good taste of the culture. Uh, plus, a lot of my friends growing up, their parents were bikers, you know. Again, they weren't patched clubs or anything like that. They were just <coughs> scooter people is what they used to call them. Bikers. Um, they're scary, yeah, but by the time I was in my early 20s, they didn't, they didn't, I, 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 they didn't scare me because... The people I was personally, my, my my own personal people that I hung out with, my brothers, they were just scary. They, I've seen them bust people's heads. I, you know, I'm, I, I've been in a few brawls. I've been in some drunken brawls and some fights in my life. Seen a lot of violence. I put down a lot of violence. A lot of it was, uh, most of the fights I've been in was drunken brawls with my own friends because we'd test each other. We would, you kind of had to be that way to be in our clique, and it's always been that way for me. I've always hung out with people like that. If you're, if you weren't ready to throw down, I, I, I just, I didn't, I wasn't interested in associating with you. It's not like that anymore. It's not like that today. I don't. That's all ego. That's, uh, I've today, these last ten years, I've uh, got sober. Then I fell off the wagon and I got sober again. <laughs> I fell off the wagon in 2022. Got sober in just last December. That's a whole other goddamn story. But I've, I've spent the past five, ten years dabbling in Zen Buddhism and getting away from my worst enemy, and that is the ego. Uh, so, yeah, it's just... You know, this whole tough guy, that whole thing is just, it turns me off. It's all ego. The whole testosterone, I'm, 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 I'm a male, 55 years old. I, my testosterone levels are, thank God, lower than they were when I was 20, 25, 30, 35, right? And then you feel that testosterone level with, alcohol and hard drugs and, and an inflated ego it's a uh, it's a recipe for disaster I am in full shock that we made it all the way from my driveway to the water to this beautiful gorgeous Washoe Valley I want to unlock my phone from the case the holder here but it'll be a, it might be a bitch to do this one-handed see the fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway let's check out this is this is why I don't mind commuting 500 miles of, uh, is this Washoe this is the what Lake Tahoe is on the other side of that mountain right there okay this is what I'm surrounded by right now every morning going to work how fucking gorgeous is this this is the Washoe Valley North, here, that's the Washoe Lake right there beautiful fucking lake uh, and there's some mountains there. The sun, sunrise right behind it. We're going to see the sun presented. This whole valley that we're surrounded by. This is, I'm locked in on eyesight, locked in at 72 miles an hour. So I'm not really driving, except for steering. There's a signature of no vehicles in front of us. Get picked up by eyesight. There's the two cameras. So I'm just chilling. Um, this has got to be one of the most blissful <laughs> um, it's I've ever had that I can remember. Unless it's snowing, usually it's actually. I, I like driving. I like driving this thing in the snow. That's for sure. I don't have to take my forerunner or my Chevy out when it's snowing. Um, now we got the sunshine bouncing off the lake, <clears throat> which is. Beautiful, but not when you're trying to fucking drive. I don't like, I'm not big on direct sunlight. Uh, 
so yeah, going through this Washoe Valley floor, you gotta be careful with speed because the I see highway patrol a lot pulling people over. But when we get up on, I call it the deck. It's literally a deck lifted. You're almost on bridge the whole time from as we come up the hill here and we go over this hill down and then we climb the hill then we come down into Reno, Nevada. You can haul ass. That's basically a race race. You can do 100 miles an hour from the valley to the Reno. But then watch your ass coming into Reno because they're the hard for them. I don't know why Higher Patrol doesn't patrol the deck very much. Uh, the deck's probably five miles, six, six miles. It's basically, what do they call that? There's a name for it. It's not a causeway. It's basically a raised highway for like five miles. I'm going to actually tripometer, clear this tripometer. I'm going to we're going to check it out. We're going to zero out right now. I'll zero out again when we get hit the base of the hill here. Um, come on, asshole. This is another thing. I got a disabled vehicle over here. The Nevada state line you're supposed to get over. But this prick had to catch up to me and then take his time passing me so I couldn't get over. Uh, all right. Timing is impeccable on those things when that happens. It's like disabled vehicle, idiot driver over here. It's the perfect timing to where I, I just don't get it. I don't know why people can't just drive. Just drive. You don't have to be the special privileged prick on the freeway all over the fucking place. Just fucking drive. Find a spot. This is what I do. I find a spot furthest away from other vehicles as I possibly can get. And I stay there. I don't catch up to other vehicles and try to buzz around them like a bee and live there. Hi, hi, how you doing? I just came to visit you at 70 miles an hour on the fucking highway. I'm going to be close to your car for the next fucking 10 miles. No, you're not. Because I'm either going to break or I'm going to fucking slam on my gas pedal and get away from you. I guess people, I don't know, are people lonely? Oh, I'm going to pull up next to this other car and... We're going to drive together at 75 plus for the next fucking 20 miles because, you know, that way if any if anything happens, we'll crash into each other. I don't get it. It's another thing I don't get. I, I think people are just zoned out. I don't think they realize that they're, I don't think they realize you're even there. That's probably what's going on. They probably don't even acknowledge there's another vehicle there. They're probably, who knows what they're doing. They could be talking on the phone. They could be uh, vlogging. <laughs> but I'm aware. I'm vlogging right now. But I am completely aware of every vehicle within a 100-yard radius of me. I see the white Chevy uh, at my six o'clock in the number two lane. We're on a three-lane highway. He's coming up in the number two lane. I'm in a number three lane. Number one lane is clear. Up ahead, there's a Chevy in a number two lane, 100 yards, 12 o'clock. Chevy, number two lane, uh, 30 yards, 6 o'clock. Black, Scion, 6 o'clock, uh, 100 yards. Okay, I know where everybody's at, and I'm vlogging right now. So, again, here, again, the Chevy is catching up to where he's at. Oops, hang on. Look where he's at. Watch this. He's gonna catch up to me. I think he, oh, it's Dot, too. He's a Dot, Department of Transportation. Let's see how long it takes this motherfucker to pass me. Now he's on my fucking, okay, he's passing. It's, oh, oh my God, we gotta get the. We got Department of Transportation. It's a girl on her phone. It's a girl on her phone. She's not even looking at me. Department of Nevada, Department of Transportation. A girl on her phone with the phone to her ear. I'm not gonna report it because she's not like fucking tailgating me or driving like a piece of shit. 
Oh shit, I need to get back on the road here. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Oh, we're getting some major sun here. It's my favorite part. I got eyesight locked back on and uh See, we're getting a lot of vehicles crowding around here now. So, Dot is up here in number two lane, uh, total clock, 20 yards. Uh, I'm going to slow down to 72. I'm going to adjust eyesight to 72. So, uh, about 200 yards up ahead, we got three, in, well, you got two vehicles, one in number two lane and one in number three lane, and there's they're living by each other. The idiot in number two lane is living right next to the vehicle in the number three lane. Then you got the moron in the number one lane. And they right now there's five, six vehicles grouped up together in a three-lane motherfucking highway. That is what I'm talking about. I got a fucking star shining in my face right now. Um, that dot girl is just still right there in that number two lane. She's just, she's on the clock, dude. She don't give a fuck. She's getting paid. They're, they're probably just drive between Reno and fucking Douglas County or some shit. Uh, yeah, it's because it's you get... It's a, it's a three lane highway and you'll get a group of cars crammed together because one asshole sitting in the left lane in the number one lane and you would think you would think I just lost eyesight because it gets washed out by the sun that's what that beep was so now I gotta drive god damn it um, you would think the person driving would look in the rear view mirror and see a fucking shitload of cars behind him because yes, you are holding them back. You are blocking, you are creating an obstruction in a three lane highway. I, it's just mind boggling. It blows my mind that you can clock a two lane highway, okay? Three lanes, 580 between Carson and Reno is three lanes. Three lanes, and you can clog three lanes. You can clog five lanes in Los Angeles, but that's Los Angeles. This is fucking Carson City to Reno, man. This isn't Los Angeles. This isn't even Sacramento. Hell, it's not even Roseville. And eyesight has returned. And I'm going to slow the hell down. We're coming into Reno. Congratulations to be made it this far all the way from my driveway to fucking Reno, Nevada. What else do we have to talk about? What else? What else is there? See, once you get to Reno, uh, Reno is set up as a good sized city. I can't, can't say Reno's a big city, but it's a big enough city to, to handle traffic. Carson City cannot fucking handle the traffic it has now, and they're still building new homes, and they're gonna fucking they're gonna keep building because the the idiots will buy half million dollar houses left and right. Uh, or I'm sorry, BlackRock will buy houses left and right. Slow down to sixty. Well, I'm not slow to sixty five. 68 into Reno, Nevada. South Reno. We're in South Reno. Reno's way the hell up there, about 20 miles, another 15 miles. You can see this downtown from here. We're at uh, coming up the Damani Parkway. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, we're back to the slowdown. Jack me off. Okay, whatever. Just again, construction. Uh. God damn, 55, huh? More sun! Yeah, we need more sun. 
the beauty of living in the desert, man, mornings and afternoons, you will be blinded by the sun. doing 55 on the freeway usually I'm doing like 80 through here but they got this bitch coned up coned up from the throned up baby jacked up from the cracked up blew up from the threw up tore up from the floor oh, anyhow Damani Ranch Parkway in 580 395 Yay, we get the speed up now. You gotta go back at the 65 miles an hour now. We get to go as fast now. Look at that cop looking white SUV this motherfucker's driving back here. Probably is a cop. It's probably, it's probably unmarked. Is he pacing me? I see one weird looking little antenna, but other than that, it looks like a normal civilian SUV. But it is definitely one of those Chevy cop looking what have you. I don't have to worry usually because I'm in my yuppie mobile. He's going to come up on my six in the right lane. Yeah, he's going to get in the left lane too, huh? Or, I'm sorry, right lane. He going up. I should slow down to like 40 miles an hour and make him pass me. I don't think that's a cop. Sure looks like one of those Chevy SUV thingies. State doesn't use those. Uh, some county, some. Well, he's, he's, not, he's not a Reno PD, that's for sure. Or unless he's, uh, it could be Washoe County, uh, unmarked. That'd be my guess. I don't think he's, I think Reno PD drives Fords. Those, what, what are those, Escorts, Explorers? Oh, I think it's a pickup, actually. Isn't that wonderful nowadays? You can't tell if it's a pickup or a, or a cop behind you now. You, you, you back in the 70s and 80s you could tell by the grill that's a that's a truck yeah back into the sun baby holy smoking Joe Frazier how did these work before okay there we go Big white truck is gone. Well, cops drive trucks too now, so so, uh, so could be that. There's that. Cause we all love, adore, love, respect, and adore uh, the cops on our on this channel, don't we? Us uh, freedom loving people. Freedom and cops. Imagine that in the same sentence. Doesn't compute. There's no... Every time I see a cop a or a cruiser, I'm reminded of how not free the United States of America is. We're far from free. This is far from a free country. If you can't defend your... I, I, actually, I was just watching the... Uh, God, I forgot his name. His last name is Kelly. The guy in Arizona, he just got found innocent for protecting his own property. In Arizona, Arizona's supposed to be a big two-way state, isn't it? And they didn't, they couldn't even, there wasn't even evidence of, of this, a fucking cartel in camouflage in a backpack, somebody shot him on his property. He fired a shot earlier that day, he said, with his AK because there were some cartels rolling through his property. It's about a year and a half ago. He spent the last 14 months in hell. 
because for defending his own property. Actually, it wasn't even defending his own property. He reported a dead body on his property. And he did say that he had fired a warning shot earlier that afternoon. And that piece of shit sheriff in that county, Arizona, charged him, arrested him, and charged him. And the other piece of shit, the prosecutor, prosecuted him. It took a jury to release. Uh, there's an interview with him at home in, his, in the house that he was looking out the window when he saw the cartels that, that day. Thank God that jury found him in it, but he spent, he had to mortgage his ranch to pay for all the legal fees to defend himself. If you can't defend your own fucking property, and he did, he, like I said, he wasn't even in the act of defending his, a body was found on his property, and they charged him with first degree fucking murder. Everybody knew that was, that, that was illegal that was on his property, or whoever the fuck that was on his property. I, I didn't get that. I didn't really get find out who it was, but he wasn't supposed to be there. You can't protect yourself on your own property. You are not free. You have to pay property taxes. You are not free. Just those two things right there. If you can be pulled over and told to get out of your vehicle and pat it down, guess what? You are not free. Um, and I can go on and on and on and on. Why? If you are an American citizen, you are not free. It's more now than, than ever. More today than ever. Illegal immigrants have more seem to have more benefits right now than American citizens. But that's a whole other conversation. Because we love freedom on this channel. And if you don't, Share, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends about this channel. Maybe maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you and your friends will learn something. A lot of people say, unsubscribe, get the fuck, get out of here. But nah, hang around, hang out. If you're a liberal, hang out. You might learn something. You might be enlightened. You might have a moment of what Zen Buddhist monks call a moment of enlightenment. Yeah, I'm not going to rant anymore about that, other than the fact that we have pure 100% criminals running the federal, state, and level of government. And um, I would say county, but the county just basically licks the balls of the state. The state licks the balls of the feds because it, because it comes down to one thing, money. But I'm, I'm going to stop preaching and ranting because it's not what this, this is the morning traffic report. And you've just witnessed the smoothest 50 mile transition from Lyon County, Nevada to Reno, Nevada that I have ever witnessed. It is Monday morning. Half, half the workforce of Northern Nevada is probably hung over right now and laying in bed and calling their, texting their boss saying, hey man, uh, I fucked up my back this weekend moving a dresser. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to make it in. Even though they're still drunk from last night. I know. I know all the signs. I know. I know all the tricks. I'm an alcoholic of 40 years. 25 years of that spent drinking. 14 years spent not drinking. And then another couple of years spent falling off the wagon. No, a year. I fell off the wagon for about a year. And then I said... Yeah, I'm probably not going to drink anymore. I had to check it out in my 50s. I quit drinking at age 39, stayed sober 14 years. After ten, after the 10-year mark when I was uh, 50, I started to question, is sobriety really that big of a deal? I am 50. So I spent like four years thinking about it. Four years thinking about drinking. And finally I said, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to have a drink or two or three or five like I did and I'm not gonna lie I enjoyed the shit out of it it was it was great after 14 years of not having a drink and slamming about a big giant cup of uh, uh, vodka and juice on ice baby I'm not gonna lie it was 
it felt pretty fucking good. There goes the state right there. Uh, headed, uh, headed east on South McCarran. We're at South McCarran and Longley Lane. Uh, rubbing one out at the traffic signal. This is the point where my foot gets sick and tired of holding the goddamn brake and I put it in park, but I think, yeah, I think we're going to go pretty soon here. There we go. I hate holding on the brake pedal like that. It just makes my life really horrible when I have to hold down the brake pedal with my foot. I'm just, life is so rough. Gee, gee golly, I have such a horrible, rough, rough life, you know, you know what I mean? Holding down that brake pedal. So it's human suffering at its deepest. We're going to make a left up a Langley on Air Center Circle. Damn, now I'm kind of feeling. I got 20 minutes. I'm feeling for a Red Bull. Should I go back to. Should I go back to. Uh, what is that place called? I can't even. My brain can't even work anymore. I'm going to go back to 7 Eleven and get a Red Bull. Fuck it. Should I stream while I go in there? Not stream, but video while I go in there. I've never videoed and went to the store before. I think I'm going to do it. I've never videoed while going in the fucking store. And I certainly never put it on boob tube. Screw tube. I'm going to do some illegal shit here, so don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. I'm going to go across the double yellow line. Oh, my God. Crossing uh, Peckham, if I can get across this motherfucker before... 15,000 fucking cars pile up at this goddamn red light. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. They're spaced out just enough to where you can't see them coming around that corner. But right, here we go. Fuck my fucking face. I have never seen that. I've, done, I've spun across there before, but I've never fucked around with that many cars what the fuck did they did they just close the fucking bar or something is everybody pouring out of the bar park the the parking lot at the at the big porkies Ooh, the cops oh cops are here state just pulled somebody over oh he looks like a nice cop though He's a, he could not catch me dude i would run and hop a fence that fat fuck would never catch me how the fuck did he get that badge with that body <laughs> I'm just playing I'm just kidding we all love respect and adore law enforcement on this channel park right next to him fuck it it's weird when you're carrying a gun a concealed firearm and the cops like that close to you it's a weird feeling uh, give me my key bitch Here we go. Here's our first video. Here's the cops. Should get him, but I'm not going to. Uh. Skelleroo! Skelleroo!
What's up, brother? Thank you. So fucking awkward. Just, I think it was just because I knew I was filming. Oh, we had an hour. <laughs> like anybody's gonna watch this. Um, check it out. All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Since the cops are here, this lady ain't happy. Oh, she did. But they really need to crack down over here on this. We'll make it a left on that double yellow and almost causing accidents. Um, go this way. Uh, the cop's staring right at me. He's like glaring at me. He's gritting his teeth at me. He's fucking staring right at me. He's like, fuck you. He's, he just did this. So you're fucking next, bitch. I'm gonna fucking put you in the prison forever. You're gonna die! Because you need to be punished! Because freedom is illegal! You need to be punished because you're a human being! Because you were born! We're gonna serve and protect the shit out of you! So I fucking hate free people! I hate Americans! That's why I became a cop, because I fucking hate you! Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on. I can't go across over there because I can't fucking see who's coming over here. Because there's fucking 14 cars piled up. I hate this fucking intersection. Uh, Jesus, fuck my face. There's fucking 20 fucking cars piled up on Peckham and Longley. We're basically going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to make a left off of Longley on the air center. Because I could, usually I could barrel across there where I just did, but because uh, there was a line of 26 fucking cars. I couldn't see who was coming on the other side. All right, now we're gonna make this left turn again. We just came here longly and air center. Hurry up, motherfucker! Fucking bitch, get out of the way! Yeah, I'm looking at you, bitch. What does this little faggoty license plate say? And this big old small penis lifted pickup pick truck. I know, I have a lifted truck too. Ooh, look at that crotch, I've never seen that before. What the fuck is that? What is it? That's a Cowie, baby, a ZZR. It's like one of them ZZR, it's not a ninja. It's a ZZR. It's like a ninja, but not quite. And there's the sun. Imagine that. And more sun. Get ready. And we're pulling into Central Intelligence Agency Field Office Reno. Oh shit, I just revealed who I was working for. Nope. A unnamed company that will not be named here. Where the fuck is everybody? Whoa. The one guy that I never can beat to work is in here. And the other guy, uh, he's usually here by now, isn't here. So thanks for riding with me, folks, to work on the morning commute. Um, and uh, I don't know what else to say here other than uh, God bless, aloha, have a, the most awesome Monday you've ever had in your life. Bye-bye.